So my name is Russell Foster, I'm Professor of Circadian Neuroscience at the University of Oxford and I have the privilege of chairing the Cheltenham Science Festival. <laughs> well, if I could bottle it, I could make a fortune, but in general it's not that complicated. I mean, first of all I think you have to ask how much sleep do you actually need? And of course, if you're forced out of bed in the morning with an alarm clock, um, rather than waking naturally, if it takes a long time to wake up, if you're feeling drowsy and, 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 and muggy uh, for, for a long time, you're not getting enough sleep. So first of all, you now need to think about the second half of the day, about when you do go to bed. So if you are waking up tired, you need to think about going to bed early. I mean, it's not rocket science. Um, and, and then you have to think of the nature of the bedroom. So at least half an hour before you go to sleep, you need to be winding down. Stop the playing of the games and the watching the TV and the, TV and the, and the DVDs and, 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 and the texting. Um, expose yourself to reduce levels of light. And so then when you go into the bedroom, you're actually starting to think about sleep. The bedroom itself should be capable of being very dark and slightly cool. And so get those blackout curtains uh, in uh, so there's no street light uh, coming in and also uh, turn off the radiator. You don't want to be cold, but you don't want to be too hot. Um, and relax, embrace sleep. Think of sleep as this wonderful duvet that you can wrap yourself in. And as a result of a good night's sleep, you'll be a more amusing, uh, innovative, uh, reasonable human being. Okay, so my, my big question, I was talking about this just, just earlier today, is this sort of the, the nature of the mind. I mean, we, we for centuries thought about the mind and the brain being different things. Of course they're not. Our mind originates from that extraordinary neural circuitry that's going on uh, uh, up here. And, 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 and the question my friend asked me was that if we completely understand the brain, will we have killed the mind? Which I think is an extremely interesting philosophical point. I suspect we're some way, though, from understanding the brain at that level.